So in my 20s, I used to have a love and hate relationship with my breakfast. Like most of the youngsters, I never woke up on time in college for having breakfast and when I started working, I never had the time to make breakfast. I was mostly dependent on cereals or just some bread and cheese. But with time and age, I realized how crucial breakfast is and I also figured out some recipes, some delicious recipes which would hardly take any time and they were full of nutrition. So let's start making some delicious and quick breakfast. First recipe which I'm going to talk about today is cheesy tomato open sandwich. It will literally just take you 10 minutes to make this delicious open sandwich. All you need is some olive oil or butter in a pan. Then um, saute some garlic and then add tomatoes. You can use regular tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. It is up to you whatever is available with you. Let them cook for a bit and then add some salt and some herbs like chili or oregano and then in the end add some olive oil. Now take slices of any bread. I am using sourdough bread. You can use any regular bread. Multigrain bread will also taste very good with this particular recipe. Then heat up some olive oil again in the same pan and then toast your bread from both the sides. Now we are going to add some grated cheese which is going to make the sandwich yum. And you can use any cheese available with you and in the end we are adding some garlicky um, cherry tomatoes. So within 10 minutes our breakfast is ready. Simple setup because uh, weekday mornings are mostly rushed. I hardly have any time and warm breakfast is ready. You can pair it with some coffee or chai whatever you like and I hope you can hear the crunch. A second breakfast recipe is something I started making during my pregnancy days. I had to have good amount of nutrition but uh, as usual I never had ample time. Sprouts are such a great option for breakfast when you have less time but you don't want to compromise on nutrition. They have fiber, they have protein, they have endless benefits. So all you need is to soak some um, pulses, lentils, whatever you like. Let them sprout for a bit and then you can easily make your breakfast within 10 minutes. You can saute them with some um, vegetables like I'm using some um, garlic and i've used bell peppers and then i'm going to saute them using some masalas first of all i'm heating up some mustard oil in a pan and then i'm going to add some cumin into it once the cumin starts sizzling you can add your garlic your uh, chili your uh, curry leaves and uh, of course your vegetables like i'm using yellow bell pepper whatever was available with me i'm adding into this recipe then i've added some capsicum as well and in the end i am going to add some tomatoes once the bell pepper is slightly cooked now the trick here is not to overcook the vegetables you have to make sure they are crunchy once they are crunchy enough add your sprouts and just saute them for a bit then you can add some salt and I like using some sambar powder into this. You can add any masala and you are good to go. You can pair this sprouts stir fry with a multi green toasted bread and some fresh fruits. Now our third recipe is something which can be prepped the night before and next day you just have to make the sandwich. Your stuffing is already prepared. So we are making a spinach corn sandwich. Start with boiling some sweet corn until they are soft and then drain the water and then wash some spinach and then pat dry them with some tissues or kitchen towel and then you have to chop them in small parts. Next heat up some olive oil plus butter mixture into a pan and then add your garlic, cook them for a bit and then you have to add your chopped spinach. Cook the spinach on low heat. Once the spinach is slightly cooked, then add your corn into it. The boiled corn which we have uh, boiled in the beginning of the recipe. We are going to add all that corn into that recipe. And then we are adding some processed cheese which I have grated. You can use any cheese, whatever is available with you and then add some milk. So that the cheese is not getting burned or sticking to the pan. Cook this again on low heat. Adding some herbs and spices like I'm adding some red chili and some oregano. You can add whatever spices you like and then we are ready to make the sandwich. Now the best part of this recipe is that you can prepare the filling one day in advance. So whenever you are in a hurry just uh, 
put the filling between the breads and your sandwich is ready this is a recipe which i had uh, many years back in ccd and i really love the concept since then i have been making it you can pair it with some uh, banana shake and you will be feeling good for whole day our last recipe is going to be a quick south indian recipe um i love having south indian breakfast at least once a week and i always prepare well in advance so that i don't have to compromise so we are making instant uh, uttapams and this uh, batter can also be made well in advance one day ahead you can make it and in the morning you can make the uttapams so we have taken 1 cup of suji or rava and then i have added a um, half cup of uh, curd into it now we are adding 1 cup of water into this batter and do not worry about the consistency of uh, uttapam batter at this point of time because the rava is going to soak a lot of water and once you are done adding the water add uh, about a teaspoon of salt into it and then you have to mix uh, mix it using a whisk or a spatula once you are done mixing the batter then you have to cover it with a plate and let it sit for at least 20 minutes or you can leave it in the fridge overnight and next day you have to adjust the consistency of the batter mix some more water so that you can make the uttapam The process here is pretty basic. I am making a onion tomato uh, uttapam. So basically, I am going to add uh, these chopped vegetables into it. Once the uttapam is semi cooked, which means the base is cooked kind of, then I am adding the onion. Then I will add uh, tomatoes, and in the end, I'll top it up with some uh, curry pata and uh, some uh, chili. And uh, in the end, I'll I'll sprinkle some uh, samba powder, which is optional. So if you have never made uttapam before I have just one suggestion make sure that your uh, batter is not very runny or uh, it's not very thick it should have medium consistency and vegetables are always optional you can also add capsicum into it and as i said before i am going to add some sam sambar powder i'll sprinkle it on top of it i have been using everest sambar powder and i really love it but if you have some puri or uh, gun powder you can also sprinkle it over it there are endless ways of making it everybody has got their own favorite version so you have to flip it and make sure that it is cooked from both the sides and then you can eat it if your uh, uttapam batter is ready then you will quickly make this in the morning and without compromising on your breakfast or on your time you will have a decadent breakfast You can serve this with some chutney or sauce whatever you like. I occasionally make a onion tomato chutney as well which I'll share some other time. And I hope you liked all the four recipes which I have shared today. Next week I'll be sharing some amazing hosting tips whenever you are planning to host a party and I hope you will like that video as well.